you all remember what Michio Kaku had said last year after very early galaxies showed up in web images? Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy, like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. At this point, I don't think anyone is expecting anything other than new from the James Webb Space Telescope. These are exciting times. We are living in an era that will see a great transformation in cosmology. Every giant was once a baby, though you may never have seen them at that stage of their development. NASA's most advanced space telescope is shedding light on the formative years in the history of the universe that was far beyond our reach until now. In June 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope discovered plenty of faraway galaxies when it first took its deep field image. Suddenly, galaxies started to pop out from the darkness of time and space, revealing themselves. The universe, for the first time, started to seem way stranger than we ever thought it to be. Galaxies emerged from what we believe to be the universe's dark ages, raising doubts over the science of our cosmic model. And it wasn't just a couple of galaxies. The Webb Telescope identified hundreds of them. One of these galaxies was discovered by Austin astronomer Stephen Finkelstein and affectionately named Maisie's Galaxy after his daughter as they spotted it on her birthday. Initially, the scientist and his team believed that the galaxy had formed almost immediately after the Big Bang on cosmic timescales, estimating its age to be around 290 million years after the Big Bang. However, with more advanced equipment, they later determined that it is approximately 100 million years older. Nonetheless, this discovery still secures its status as the oldest galaxy ever observed, forming a mere 390 million years after the Big Bang. Yet, the current title holder for the oldest observed galaxy may not hold on to the first position for long. The Sears team is presently evaluating approximately 10 more galaxies, which could potentially surpass Macy's galaxy in age. We're witnessing the emergence of massive galaxies at a pace faster than we previously anticipated, said Fabio Pacucci of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Some of these early galaxies are estimated to be only tens of millions of years old. This surge in massive galaxies could have implications for the large structures of dark matter, referred to as halos, which, in line with our cosmology, shaped early galaxies. However, some challenges persist, with certain early universe candidate galaxies remaining problematic and potentially challenging established models. A noteworthy example is a class of galaxies identified by a team of scientists at the Swinburne University of Technology in Australia. The team uncovered galaxies with billions of solar masses rivaling the weight of the Milky Way, dating back to an estimated 750 million years after the Big Bang. Remarkably, these galaxies are 10 to 100 times larger than those previously observed from this era and are densely packed into structures 30 times smaller than the Milky Way. What adds to the intrigue is that these galaxies appear to host a much greater number of stars than initially deemed possible. This revelation challenges the very foundations of our understanding of how massive structures evolve over time, posing a direct challenge to the conventional cosmological standard model. Not only have we continued to discover more distant galaxies, but recently the Webb Telescope detected 
Milky Way-like galaxies at the farthest reaches of the universe, challenging our understanding of physics as these galaxies should not theoretically exist. Many early galaxies akin to those identified were characterized by luminous gas that was so brilliant it could outshine the stars emerging within them. These recent revelations shed light on the prevalence of such radiant, gaseous infant galaxies when the universe was merely 2 billion years old out of its 13.8 billion year existence. Observations indicate that almost 90% of these galaxies exhibited extreme emission features, signifying the presence of this glowing gas. While exploring these early galaxies, astronomers unexpectedly stumbled upon the most distant instance of a galaxy resembling our home galaxy, the Milky Way. Yes, you heard that correctly. When the universe was just 2 billion years old, the newly discovered spiral galaxy, Sears 2112, seems to have featured a bar of stars and gas cutting across its core. But one might wonder, how is that even possible? Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is a spiral galaxy featuring a similar bar structure. Scientists propose that the Milky Way's bar rotates cylindrically, channeling gas into the galaxy's center and triggering episodes of star formation. Traditionally, astronomers believed that this galactic structure marked the conclusion of a galaxy's formative years, expecting it to be observed solely in mature galaxies, potentially those halfway through the universe's evolution. Previous observations by the Hubble Space Telescope, which focused on galaxy morphologies, led scientists to assume that the early universe housed very few barred galaxies. However, our understanding of the early universe is undergoing a transformation. The latest findings, derived from data collected by the Webb Telescope, challenge the notion that barred spirals must have emerged only recently in the universe. The discovery of spiral galaxies, like Sears 2112, indicates that galaxies resembling our own were already in existence almost 12 billion years ago, when the universe was merely 15% of its current age. Yes, Sears 2112 is observed at a redshift of 3, when the universe was 2 100 million years old, signifying that the light from the galaxy took nearly 12 billion years to reach the James Webb Space Telescope. This discovery is surprising, as galactic bars observed in the galaxy were previously believed to have formed around 4 billion years into the universe's existence. The standard model of cosmology predicts that the physical conditions of the early universe should have hindered the formation of such barred galaxies in general. Nevertheless, here we are, confronted with evidence challenging these expectations. Even theoretical predictions from cosmological simulations struggle to replicate such systems during those epochs. This raises the crucial question of identifying the key missing physical ingredient in our models. If only something is actually missing, said one of the scientists associated with the discovery. Now, for the intriguing twist, scientists propose that 85% of all matter in the universe is dark matter, a mysterious substance that remains elusive to observations because it doesn't interact with light. Dark matter is believed to have significantly influenced galaxy evolution and star formation from as early as 380,000 years after the Big Bang. However, the findings from this new discovery suggest that galaxy evolution, at least in the case of Sears 2112, was predominantly influenced by ordinary matter and not dark matter when the universe was approximately 2 billion years old. Indeed, it's a significant discovery, affirming that the evolution of this galaxy was predominantly influenced by baryons, the ordinary matter that constitutes you, me, and everything we see, rather than dark matter, despite its pervasive presence. The secrets of the universe are now within our reach. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Cosmos Prodigy.